Hello everyone, and welcome to Monday Musings again. As you know, I've kind of been on a, a home decor uh, rant lately, and so this is another um, uh, video about home decor. Um, again, once again, I'm using the uh, chalky finish paints. This time, I'm going to use it in heirloom, and then, well, first of all, sorry, I'm going to use put rustic. Uh, as my first coat and then this as a top coat this is heirloom and I'm going to use crackle medium I'm going to make this in a way that you can use it for just about any uh, you, so that you can adapt it for any of your seasons and I also have four mason jars to uh, that fit inside the um, the basket and you can also decorate those with chalky finish paint if you like or you can um, leave them plain you can put the lids on them, you can take the lids off, you can put for July 4th you can put some sparklers in there you can wrap some uh, red white and blue ribbon around it you can do just about anything you want to and then when it uh, in the fall you can put some things oh like maybe for back to school or you can put some uh, uh, let's see some uh, silk flowers in there uh, sunflowers in those jars you can just you'll be able to change this up now this uh, basket came from Michael's it was very inexpensive I think about nine dollars and if you notice what I'm doing is I'm just spreading on the top finish paint. I did not seal this or do any prep whatsoever. It's just the raw, the raw inexpensive wood. It's pine wood I'm assuming. And so I'm just using, I'm using my foam brush because this is such uh, raw wood. I don't want to uh, mess up one of my regular paint brushes that would be more expensive to replace so I'm just using this very cheap uh, foam brush that I think cost me maybe a dollar so and then I'm going to uh, put this I'm going to put this in all of the areas inside and out I'm not even really worried uh, if I get really good coverage on this coat or not because it, it's going to be covered with crackle paint and it's also going to be covered with um, uh, the lighter color. So rather than have you just uh, sit here and watch me base coat this basket. I'm going to go ahead and, and finish this and then I will come back to you on the video in a bit when I finish that part. Okay, we're back now and I have put the um, crackle medium on and I ended up letting it dry overnight because um, I had some other plans. You don't have to let it dry that long, but do make sure that it dries. And I'm going to uh, now put on the light coat. Okay, and put my palette paper out here. And I'm putting on heirloom. A little bit lighter color, same color family. Give it a shake. Okay. And I'm going to take my wide brush and I'm just going to start putting it on. I'm not, again, going to worry about whether it's um, completely covered or not because I'm going for a rustic look. No pun intended. Over here on this 
size. Not counting the drying times, um, these are always very um, uh, low labor, uh, minimal time projects. I'm going to get the top of the slats. I'm not going to worry really. I don't know. Maybe I should go ahead and and uh, kind of hit the bottoms of the slats a little bit. Guess it doesn't hurt. Now, see, you can see the crackle already happening. This is one of the advantages of giving it a long drying time that you see the crackle showing up very nicely and uh, very quickly. See, I've already got some good crackle. Go ahead and get the top of these slats and the bottoms. I'm using very little of this top coat paint as well. Okay. Going along with the grain. Some places I'm just putting a little bit on, some places I'm putting heavier. Let's see, get inside there as well. Now the top of this was pretty um, grainy, pretty rough, so be um, curious to see how that ends up crackling. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the insides. Not quite as easy to go with the grain on the inside. You can, but it's just a little bit awkward. bottom slats and my sides on the inside. Not really a good, let's see if I can, there we go. And then we'll get the, the sides and then we'll let that dry. Now you can put an image transfer on here. You can uh, leave it plain. You can decorate the glasses, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to set this off to the side now and let it dry. And remember, the colors that I have used are Rustic and Heritage. Okay, so I'm going to clean this off just a little bit. Now I have my, my glass jars. 
And I bought these at Michael's for about 80 cents. 89 cents each, I think it was. But you can also get them at a big box store or grocery store. Um, you know, regular canning jars will work. What I'm doing right now is heating this lid with my heat gun to melt the glue on the back of the label. So be careful because this metal lid will get pretty hot. I'm doing that so that I can lift it off without tearing. This makes it a whole lot easier to remove a label when you heat the glue up. Just a little more heat. Alright, there we go. And then you can take a little bit of uh, alcohol. And get rid of any sticky residue that's left behind. You can also take one of the, um, the chalk pouches that you use when you emboss and, and uh, sprinkle some of that and that would get, that would uh, take the stickiness away. So I have Decorart's Chalky Finish for glass. Now you can use these lodgers for glass, but this is formulated especially for glass. And so that's what I'm going to use. Do you want to shake these? Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and get another brush because that one's kind of full of the other paint. You always want to wet your brush first before you put any paint on it. And then I'm just going to brush over. Didn't put out enough. Okay. Now with glass painting, um, you always get kind of a transparent coat first time, and then you let that dry before you go back over it a second time. And with the chalk paint, you get a pretty nice opaque coat. And you can leave it like that if that's what you want. I want mine to be a little more opaque than this. So while that first coat is setting up, then I can come on and paint another. And quick and easy, it doesn't take much paint at all. It doesn't take any amount of time at all. Okay, I'm going to let that one set up. This one is still wet. So, I'm going to take this also paint on my lid. And that will also take more than one coat.
Okay, so now I'm going to set those off to the side as well to dry. I have uh, four of these jars, but you don't have to watch me paint all four of them. Now this has had a chance to dry a little bit, set up a little bit, and I'm very happy with the crackling. I really like the colors working together. I think I could use a little bit more there, but I think I'm just, let's see, yeah, need a couple of little touch-ups, just a couple. Grab another brush. This my other one is still kind of yucky. And just you know, add a little bit, a couple of places that I missed. Doesn't take much. Okay. So um, I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna come back in with another video to show you um, one way that we can decorate this for the 4th of July holiday. <laughs> 